Hello, hello, hello. I hope each and every one of you all are doing well today. Um, I'm doing well outside of the fact that I'm extremely tired. Um, I just decided to do a video uh, after work and it only made sense that I went ahead and did so because time is moving so fast, you guys. Um, really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my three topics um, right off the top so we don't waste any time. Um, the, three thing, the three things that I want to talk to you guys about is fertilizing, uh, protection, protecting your trees, as well as um, pruning your trees. So we have protecting your trees, pruning your trees, as well as fertilizing. I'm going to go ahead and roll right into fertilizing. You guys, um, like I told you all, I fertilize, um, I fertilize pretty much year round. I, I compost heavily um all, and then all i do is pretty much add miracle grow potting soil over the top it really really works believe it or not um and when i decide to actually use a granular fertilizer or um any other type of fertilizer it's always organic always 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 i'm a very very firm believer in making sure that um anything that we eat that we grow is organic. Um, so I don't buy anything that that um, isn't organic. Um, but with that being said, you guys, going forward into um, into the spring, you guys, I, I really feel like there's kind of a misconception when we talk about fertilizing our trees in the spring. Um, the reason why I say that is simply due to the fact that it takes fertilizers weeks, if not months, to break down. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's one thing for a fertilizer to break down, but it's another thing for a fertilizer to be readily available for our trees. What I've done over the course of time is do my research um, on fertilizers, and a lot of people don't realize that when you fertilize your trees in the spring, a lot of that fertilizer doesn't make it to your tree or to your plant or whatever the case may be, um, at least for a few weeks. Now, in, in some cases, it's totally different because um, in the summertime, obviously, um, it's, it's super quick. You know, if you, you put some fertilizer out there, you know that your tree didn't like it because it'll start wilting and it might even lose some leaves. Um, but in the wintertime, it's a slow, gradual process. So what I'm going to try this year, and I'm not saying you guys have to try this because I don't want um, I don't want any any backlash from it. But what I'm going to do this year is um, I'm going to move my fertilizing date back a month and I'm going to start fertilizing my trees around the first of the year. And the reason why I want to do that is because whenever my trees start blossoming, blossoming, <laughs> I can't talk either. Whenever my trees start flowering, whenever my fruits start forming, I want these trees to already be using the nutrients that I put into the soil a month ago. You see what I'm saying? So basically what I'm looking for is for this fertilizer to start breaking down before my trees actually need it. Because here's the thing, if you fertilize during the spring, eventually you're going to have um, that that tree is not really going to get that nutrients until later on in the spring. And depending on how long of a fertilizer or how how long it takes your fertilizer to break down, maybe early summer. Uh, so that's my take on fertilizer protection. You guys, nothing can compare and nothing could have prepared us for what happened earlier this year. However, um, what I'm doing this year, granted, if it's a normal winter, um, I'm looking at greenhouses. I'm looking at small greenhouses, pretty much big enough for my plants or my trees to be in individually. Now, again, I'm talking about my citrus. Um, I have a Meyer lemon in the ground. I have my Owari satsuma. Um, what else do I have? Uh, my moral blood orange. I don't know what I was thinking earlier this year. I'm just a rebel when it comes to things because I really do believe that um, 
I can get some citrus established here in Central Texas. And I'm going to continue to do it because I got to thinking, like, if we didn't have this storm, my citrus would have made it and they would have flowered and they would have fruited and they would have probably been three to four feet bigger than they were last year. So with that being said, you guys, go ahead and start putting measures into place. Go ahead and start pricing your greenhouses. Go ahead and start figuring out what you're going to do with your potted plants that you keep outside. Because those are the things that end up coming back to bite you in the you know what. Um, last thing, pruning. You guys, I know it's a little early for pruning. But with that being said, um, go ahead and figure out what you want to do as far as how you want to prune your plants. Because what you do not do now, I promise you, I'm going to use this statement again. It's going to come back to bite you in the butt. Because um, if you let... I use my peach trees all the time as an example. Now my apple trees are starting to be my examples because they grow so fast. What you let go in one year on a tree that's three to four years old, and I'm, I can't believe I'm getting ready to say that for my peach tree, but that, that growth could be that big around. You don't want to be making cuts when you got branches this thick. And if you think I'm lying, I will gladly show you all <laughs> because I have not uh, completely pruned my peach tree and I, I still have to. I'm gonna wait till it goes completely dormant. Um, that is a very key uh, thing. We have to make sure that our trees are dormant. Um, I had to do what I had to do as far as um, the video that I posted last. Um, I had branches rubbing. I had... Um, some things that I didn't want to see in my tree. So I went ahead and took it into my own hands, went ahead and um, sprayed it with some alcohol and um, used some tree paint and went ahead and covered up all of those cuts. And now we're good. But you guys, that's just a really quick take on um, the three things that I think we should go ahead and start focusing on um, before it's too late. And again, that's fertilizing, pruning and protecting our trees. So you guys, um, I said I was going to make it quick and this is about as quick as I can make it. Um, but you guys, I'm going to get back on the ball. Um, this year is not over yet. So whenever I go ahead and place my order for my greenhouses, I will go ahead and make videos. And you guys, it's better for you all to experiment with me than to, um, than to see a plan fall through. So um, if this is your first year or you haven't started a garden yet, I would rather me make the mistake or see how something's gonna hold up um, rather than somebody have to find out at their own detriment. So I do this for fun. I love what I do. Um, and it's it's a blessing to be able to do this. So um, I can't wait till my greenhouses come in. I can't wait to see how our trees hold up in the wintertime uh, this year. I'm shaking in my boots compared to what we've seen um, earlier this year, but I'm just crossing my fingers and praying to God that uh, <laughs> we can get some different results because uh, my citrus harvest um, definitely, definitely suffered. And with that being said, just one little thing. Um, I went to HEB last week and I always look at the tags of my fruit because that, believe it or not, um, the tags on the fruit can tell you whether or not your fruit is genetically modified or organic that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day but make a long story short i was wondering why our fruit where my oranges were coming from africa and it had a sticker on there that said pride of africa so i got to thinking i was like holy crap everywhere that pretty much grows citrus outside of florida was devastated by um the freeze so with that being said that's just something that i thought about um while talking about my citrus being devastated but <laughs> but you guys let's let's uh let's hope and pray that this year is a lot better you guys have a blessed one thank you so much for hearing my rant to the end you guys have a blessed one and uh we'll be talking soon